G'day folks, it's Thunderballs here and welcome to my first tutorial. Welcome to Star Citizen. Now this is aimed at completely new players. Never played before, just bought yourself a package and you've logged into the game. Now, I have already set my home point so it is a little bit different um, to how you would first see it when you very first log in. But mainly I'm going to be going through the Persistent Universe today. So when you first select the Persistent Universe, it's going to ask you where you want your primary residence to be set. I personally prefer to start in Crusader at Orison. Uh, main reason being is that there are a lot of um, various quests specifically around the Crusader um, planet and its moons. Um, you've got a bit of mining, you've got salvage, a lot of salvage, um, you've got your mercenary and bounties uh, around there as well. Plus also the, the latest one is your raids on Orison and uh, Siege of Orison. The other good thing about Orison is directly above the um, capital you have the um, space station of Seraphim Station um, and that is a very convenient place where I always seem to um, gravitate towards as setting up my main area uh, in the game. So you would then select Orison, uh, you select your location based on what, what's best for you. Uh, me, I'm an Aussie so I will sit uh, on the Aussie servers. So let's go, uh, you, you would also, sorry, um, go through your character customization where you can change the look um, of your character. Um, they've recently brought in this new uh, hair system with a small uh, sample of different hairstyles with longer hair um, and the, uh, the flowing and um, refinement of the look of the hair. You can actually see individual hair strands, etc. Um, and this is how I've got my character set up here. Okay, so uh, we'll leave that because I've already done that. So we'll select Oz and enter the universe. So the first thing when you enter the universe is you're going to wake up in a room uh, in the the habitation area of the um, uh, capital that you have selected or if you're returning from a previous session, the last um, station or platform, uh, sorry, capital or station that you were last at, that's where you will enter. So one thing that I would recommend when you first start, you will get, um, or, or you can have the option of hints and tips. Okay, so if we go and show our hints and control hints, um, it will give you those options as well. Okay, so over on the right here, we can see our prone, interact and look and exit. So the main, um, your, your main uh, on foot keybinds that you need to know uh, if you've done any FPS before, you've got your WASD for your forwards, backwards, left and right. R uh, for reload um, and to uh, holster your weapon if you hold R. 1 through 4 are your weapons and utility items. Uh, 1 being your sidearm, you can carry one sidearm, pistol. Uh, number 2 is your primary and secondary um, weapons so you would have like your machine guns or your rifles snipers number three is your specialty items which are things like a railgun and a rocket launcher missile launcher things like that number four are your utility items you can carry two utility items uh, at a time that would be um, your med gun and your multi-tool generally uh, you also have um, another hotkey for items that you're carrying is G for grenades. Um, you can also hold in your grenade slot um, flares as well. And I will show you all this shortly. C 
is for your um, med pens. So you can hold a certain amount of med pens on your um, armor, uh, depending on whether you're wearing light, medium, or heavy armor. It depends on how much of everything you can carry. You can also carry uh, uh, ammo around your armor. Currently, you can only reload your weapon from ammo that is on your armor. Uh, soon in an upcoming patch they will be bringing out the ability to reload from your inventory um, which is your, your backpack or your your chest piece and your pants also have um, a small amount of storage in there as well um, and I believe it's just going to take a little bit longer to reload your weapon when you are bringing the ammo um, from those inventory uh, areas so the first thing to do to get out of bed to get out of anything is why okay so when you're in bed you can also move forwards and backwards to get out of bed so you've got your WASD you can move around uh, as we have no weapon Q and E is not doing anything and 1234 is also not doing anything I will open up your inventory um, so as we can see, we have a little bit of armor, we've got a utility um, multi-tool, we've got our utility medical device, uh, a couple of med pens, uh, we have one LMG, these uh, cannons are for vehicles, and I've got some ammo here as well. Um, one thing you always need to equip first is an undersuit. So we've got our filters up here for our armor, our undersuit. Clothing is like your civilian clothing, so you can you can purchase hats and pants and boots and gloves and things like that. You've got your weapons, utility, uh, ammo, vehicle items, sustenance, so food and drink, uh, and your other items. You can also then filter those down even further using the custom filters. Uh, other controls that you have is Control to crouch, X to go prone, F4 will change your camera angle to third person. Okay, so we can move around while we're on prone. Uh, you can roll around as well. So if you wanted to uh, roll around and change direction, well, you, you, you can do that as well. Okay. Um, you also then have a space bar for jumping and also returning back up to upright okay if you use your mouse wheel scrolling up and down that will change the speed that you are walking so we're walking nice and slow scroll up we'll start um, moving into a bit more of a uh, s slow run I guess okay F as mentioned over on the right here is your main interact button that is to bring up you hold F uh, and you bring up your cursor so you can then click on things like opening up a door like, there we go opening up a door okay moving around uh, if you're not interested in seeing the chat press F12 and that'll get rid of your chat okay uh, once again I'm going to go and get rid of the hints because I don't need those and that's what I'm here for you at the moment as well Okay, one thing that is very overwhelming with Star Citizen is the amount of keybinds. There is so many things that you can do in the game with weapons, um, vehicles, targeting, um, vehicle functions, landing gear, cruise control, lights, uh, VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, docking, camera modes, quantum systems, scanning, pinging, couple g safe your uh, limiter shields thrusters weapons power there's so many um keybinds it's not funny so in order for them to allow the, the multiple uses of one key you've got modifiers so um control uh, plus something else will do uh, one action you can also have alt and a key to do another action you can push and hold for an action you can double tap for an action and you can just single tap for an action okay um, we can get more into some of those uh, a little bit later 
Um, so the first thing you want to go do, uh, you're going to want to do when you get in is, is have a look around, like explore the place. There is so much to see. Um, it is it is gorgeous. If you've got a decent machine with graph, a decent set of graphics, um, a graphics card memory and, and CPU, you you will see some great graphics. It's amazing. Um, so anything uh, any elevators and doors that show up with blue you can actually interact with them so we're going to go and call the elevator uh, so we are currently on floor five and we want to go down to the lobby um, to get out of this building so we'll go down to the lobby all right there's not a lot to see. There's a couple of different exits and different areas that you can go in and interact and have a look at. Um, but generally, once you're in the game and you want to get out, you you leave the lobby and uh, uh, sorry the um, uh, the habitation quarters, so to speak, at this uh, in Orison. It's called Green Circle, um, and then you move outside. Um, other places of interest that you have um, at most capital cities is you would have a place to purchase ships with in-game currency. You will have uh, a transport system. Uh, in Orison we have shuttles and over here we've got a uh, this one that's called the Skyway Transit which brings shuttle ships across to shuttle you between different locations. So at the moment uh, we are on the cloud view uh, platform which has uh, as I said we've got the habitation uh, across from us over there the Stratus building we have our um, uh, TDD center which is your trade and development uh, district I think it's called um, over there where that Orison sign is that is the hospital so you can go in there and purchase uh, from the pharmacy med guns med pens other um, uh, medical consumables um, and that is where you would spawn when you die if orison is set as your main location wherever you set your main location so you can change your main location to a space station which is what i will be doing or have done um, and that is where you will then spawn wherever you die or whenever you die i should say uh, in Orison here, we do have a few maps around the place so that you can... Well, let's go down to the here, that one just changed. So you can see where things are. Okay, most of... I'm, I'm pretty sure actually all of the um, capitals now have these little maps. Okay, and it gives you places of interest that you want to go to. Uh, so currently we are at the bottom one, the Cloudview Center. We have the Crusader Industries Showroom. You can purchase your ships. Stratus Shopping Center. Um, I believe that's more your... Um, I've, I've never actually been in there, to be honest. Um, but that is more of your uh, civilian clothes and things like that, I believe. There might be a bar in there as well, I think. Green Circle Habitation. The Orison General Hospital. And Trade and Develop Division. Okay, I said District, not Division. Okay, Trade and Development Division is where you would go and buy and sell your commodities um, for trade routes. Uh, your Providence Industrial Platform, that is your main sort of platform uh, in Orison for purchasing ammo, armor, vehicle um, components, um, and also the admin terminal which is where you can also sell other types of um, commodities as well some commodities need to be sold at the trade and development division some can be sold at the admin terminal also on that platform is the orison municipal services is the admin terminal Covalex shipping and self storage that's where you can purchase your utility items um, and some armor and backpacks you can purchase from there uh, the discovery center I don't think you can actually just not much really there um, Tammy and Sons is a uh, armor place armor and weapons cousin crows is uh, vehicle components uh, then we've got the spaceport 
which where is where you can access your ships from the ASOP terminals. Um, you've got customs, which is where you can pay off your fines. Uh, there's a little bit of shopping there, um, some uh, some drinks and food. Chairman's Club VIP lounge. Um, if you've got access to that, you can get into that. Uh, ship rentals and commercial flights. Um, don't think commercial flights actually does anything. I'll, we'll have a look at that while we're there anyway. Uh, so have a wander around. Go and buy some armor. Obviously, depending on how much um, uh, in-game currency you've got, uh, the UEC, which you can find out from pressing F1. F1 brings up your Moby glass. Okay. Uh, F2 will bring up your skyline, which is your um, star map eventually it's going to be star map they're going to bring out a new map i believe they're aiming to bring that out in the next major patch of 3.23 and it is amazing the way that they've changed it it is so much better than what it is now um when you're inside of a ship and you're sitting in your pilot seat you can uh, zoom in find a location so if we would go to hurston um there's different symbols for the different types these bright uh, circular dot target items they're your capitals so lawville um, you'll also see just above that is everest harbor that is the space station um, that uh, orbits that planet you've also got um, both hostile and uh, friendly locations that you can go to around there most of those are to do with um, your contracts, you might have a delivery contract or a bounty that you need to go and uh, kill somebody or um, clear a bunch of uh, Ninetales enemies um, from a friendly bunker uh, that, that they've infiltrated, things like that. Okay, um, while we're in the Moby Glass, uh, you've got your comlink, which is also accessible via F11. And this is where you can do other chat, in, uh, invite friends to your party. Um, you can also call for landing services. There are hotkeys and also um, options within your ship uh, MFDs that you can access those through as well. Um, and you can also see who is on the server and you can message them directly if, if you wanted to. Um, and you can manage voice, chat, colors and things like that. Uh, any sort of pending friend request that you might have, you'll be able to find in there. Uh, next option across in your Moby Glass is your Vehicle Loadout Manager. So you can go and select a ship. Any of these ones that have the padlocks on, they are ships that you have uh, in the game, but they're not at this location. So at the moment, I only have my Drake Cutter Rambler here. So I can go and select that ship. Have a look at miscellaneous items. Um, so long as these items are in your inventory at this location, so within Orison, um, you can change the loadouts here. You've got libraries, which is the different paints and schemes that you can have. Your systems, coolers, which at the moment don't really make any effect on anything. Power plants, uh, they can make changes, but you don't necessarily have to change them. Quantum drives are very, um, very much useful to change depending on what you're looking at doing. Uh, you can have a quantum drive that can get you further, but slower, or you can go faster and not quite go as far. And then you've got um, different efficiencies for f uh, fuel efficiencies and things like that, which also tie into your distance and speed that you can travel. Uh, shield generators, uh, depending on what sort of shield generators you have, depends on um, how much damage you can with um, you, you can prevent before it actually starts doing damage to your your hull and your ship itself. Uh, then you've got your weapon loadouts. Um, now I'll go through weapon and loadouts, and missiles. In you, 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 if, so the next option is our knickknacks. This is where you can actually see across the entire game what items you have and where so you can go um, obviously we only have the Stantum system uh, in Crusader if I was to go and have a look at Seraphim Station I've got a ton of crap up there like 
so much stuff that's where i pretty much have all of my stuff up there okay so if you're not sure what you've got where you can double check it on yellow at grim hex i got nothing there but you can go to every location in the game and see or every location in the game that you've been so um i can even go as far as looking at what's in this backpack uh which is nothing so i've got a backpack over at crew one dream station um, with nothing in it, and I've got 11 drinks. Mr. Shuttle, not a you can filter those Another down by different shuttle. items so you can you, um, narrow down your ways. search. Next button along is the Skyline, which is also accessible by F2. You've got your Mo Trader, which is basically if you wanted to send some funds to a friend. Contracts Manager is where you can go and get your missions. You've got your general missions where um they are missions that everybody could collect at the same time um if you were to go and pick a bounty hunter mission somebody else could also pick that bounty hunter mission um and potentially beat you to it to all major personal products. missions are missions that are available to everybody depending on services. your rep After levels and what you've unlocked but once somebody has selected to um, accept that uh, contract it disappears off the list for everybody else you've then got your accepted contracts which is what you currently um, have accepted if you were to log out or get disconnected from the game all accepted quests are lost um, that just allows that if you finish for the night and you still haven't finished your quest a then somebody else can then pick those up at some point they go back into the pool History shows you the history of um, contracts that you have done recently. I'm not sure how um, how far back the history goes, um, but this doesn't look like it's a, a very long history at all. Beacons are your active beacon, um, and so on the beacon sections you can create your own beacon. You can you can ask for a, an escort. So if you wanted to transport some some goods somewhere and you were worried about pirates or something like that, then you can ask for an escort. Someone can come and escort you in a fighter and make sure that you get there safely. And you can offer them a uh, a payment amount. Um, Medical assistance is if you need medical assistance, and personal transport is if you, um, uh, let's say you landed on a moon somewhere and your ship got destroyed but you survived, you're stranded, you need to get a lift somewhere. Uh, next item across is vehicle maintenance. So once you're in a hangar in a vehicle, you can um, refuel, restock your weapons, um, and also repair your ship. We'll cover more of this in a future video as well. Second to last is your journal. Um, so in there, it'll tell you a bit of information about what sort of um, felonies you've had and misdemeanors and how much you've paid for the fines and um, if you've been caught uh, transporting prohibited drugs and um, items and um, whatnot. Um, so yeah you, you've got a bit of a history there of, of what you've done in the different jurisdictions as well um, the current commodity prices what's under stock and overstock for um, for starting out this is a good area where you can go and purchase some some cheap food or something like that processed food um, from a farm and then deliver that to say Everest Harbour at the moment is the is paying the most so you can almost double your money when you buy that um, to start out. Good way just to get a little bit of a little bit of cash here and there. Okay uh, and at the moment construction materials is under stocking new babbage so they're purchasing construction materials. I didn't know that they had added, added construction materials on there. Um, you've also got some informational things, so information about regeneration and basic uh, first aid, information about nutrition, um, better nutrition, better use. So this will tell you about um, hydration effects and um, dehydration. So for example, if you eat a burrito, that will actually dehydrate you. So what you need to do is you eat your burrito first if you're hungry, and then you have a drink afterwards. Whereas if you have the drink first and then eat your burrito, it's going to 
start taking away some of the drink that you've just had. It's going to dehydrate you. Uh, improved star map quantum integration. Um, this just gives you a bit of information about how you can move around by accessing the uh, star map through your Moby glass. Okay. Uh, the other information is, or the one in the middle, brings you back to your main uh, Moby glass screen. So we're currently not in a vehicle. We're not tracking any missions. We're fairly healthy, um, and we've got plenty of oxygen and fuel in our EVA at the moment. EVA fuel is non-existent. It just it, it happens, um, but it will be changing soon. Where uh, well, not soon. I don't think it's soon. At some point, you will need. Um, you will have a limited supply of EVA fuel. Uh, you can also tell here whether the planet or area that you are in it has a breathable atmosphere or not. Uh, your crime stat rating, obviously your name, and your currency. Okay, so that is your Moby Glass. Your main screen, um, when you're looking at your UI up the top right, you have a, a no bullet. A, a bullets crossed out that means that you're in an armistice zone and you can't shoot weapons um, there are some areas like at space stations where it is a soft armistice you can shoot your weapons um, outside so your vehicle weapons um, however if you shoot somebody you're going to get a crime stat um, another icon that will show up there is um, if they a comma ray is up and and you're you're within basically within radio frequency or radio range of the planet and the um, authorities so that if something if you did something bad you uh, they will be aware of it down the bottom left you will also see things like your health and nutrition your um, if you take any damage and injuries as well as food and drink states over on the right once we get a weapon so let's go and equip some armor and weapons we'll show you your ammo um so once again we've got to equip an undersuit first then now you know, it doesn't matter what order after that um when you're in space you need a helmet of Enjoy some sort otherwise you will not be able to breathe and you will die there is, you, but you also need to take your helmet off if you want to take a drink so if you're on your ship you take a drink always remember to put your helmet back on Everybody does it. I've done it multiple times. You go in your ship, you get off your helmet off, you take a drink because you need one, and then you go outside your ship and you suffocate. Everybody, it happens to everybody. Okay, so I've got some arms, some legs, a chest piece. I don't have a backpack here. I do have some med pens, so we'll go and equip those, and we can see those. They're kind of uh, clipped in there, but. Um, our Mr. med pens shuttle, are on our problem. side here. Another uh, up the top right here, we've got a little cog. We can More click item port helter, helpers. So that'll show you what you can actually equip. Okay. So you can equip something on this leg. You can equip four med pens or other medical devices. Or, or, or sorry, uh, uh, like an oxygen pen or detox pen, things like that. You've got. Um, on this particular set of armor, we've got eight ammo slots. We have four chest piece slots, which are for your grenades your and your flares. And, um, and, and on, the, on our back, we can have two weapons. So let's go and equip one rifle. We'll equip a medical gun, which once again is clipping inside our pants there. And we'll equip our multi tool. Uh, we'll also go ahead and equip all of our ammo, which you can see going around our waist here. Okay. And inside my legs, I have more med pens and I have refills for my medical device. So I can, the, the, the refills will go on your ammo slot because you're, it's, it's effectively Providing a type of ammo. It's platforms. ammo for your medical gun. So... What I'll do, we'll end that there for today. Uh, next episode, I think we'll cover retrieving uh, or actually going to a store and purchasing items. Um, and then we can also look at uh, getting our ships out of a hangar. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget that um, I currently have a giveaway running 
where you can win a 10 inch um, Kindle Fire tablet and a 12 month subscription to Game Glass. Um, I do have in the giveaway, I do go through the um, Game Glass panels in a bit more detail. To be in the draw for the giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and comment on any of my videos between now and the cutoff, which is 9 a.m. Saturday the 17th of February, uh, that's 9 a.m. UTC, 8 p.m. Um, for us Aussies on the East Coast, Sydney and Melbourne, um, on Saturday the 17th of February. So please, if you like my videos, like and subscribe to my channel, and you can be in the draw um, as well. If you were to comment on uh, any of my videos, you can be in the draw to start winning some things. Um, I will also have more giveaways coming in the future, um, some more subscriptions to Game Glass, as well as some in-game ships that we can also give away. Uh, so thank you for watching today, Absolutely. and until Service, next time, we aim to make thunder out. Fun. Please enjoy your flight.